Hey YouTube, today we're going to look at what we need to do in order to get Bootstrap set up and running on, in CodePen. The Bootstrap framework currently has two main versions. The stable version, which is version 3.3.7, and an updated alpha version, which is currently version 4.0 alpha 6. CodePen has a number of libraries that they offer for us to quickly include into our projects. And recently CodePen has made the switch from version uh, 3 of Bootstrap to the updated version 4 Alpha and their offered libraries. This has caused a couple of issues and a bit of confusion. The first is because it's an Alpha version it isn't quite ready for production and most of the recent tutorials that you find online are geared towards version 3. This includes all the free code camp challenges on Bootstrap. Version 4's classes and components have changed uh, in such a way that most of the tutorials that you'll find online um, for version 3 just won't work under version 4. The one good thing about version 4 is that we get a chance to play around with it while we're waiting for it to mature into a beta and eventually into production. With that in mind I'm going to show you how to get both of them set up and saved as templates. The template feature in CodePen lets you create and set, save a set of default codes and settings for the pens. It's like a reusable starter kit. Once it's set up, we can quickly get started with our projects with just a click or two. So with that in mind, we're going to go ahead and create a um, template for version 4 of Bootstrap. So go ahead and log into CodePen and click on New Pen. In order to load libraries in CodePen, uh, they give us the option in the settings area. So go ahead and uh, click on settings. And you're presented with a uh, dialog box with four um, possible tabs. If we go to CSS, you'll notice down here at the bottom there's a quick add. If we drop that list box down, there's a bootstrap that we can include. You'll notice that it's a CDN that it's calling, and in this case it's calling the version 4.0 alpha version. Um, we'll change this in the version 3 template that we're going to create, uh, but for now go ahead and use uh, version 4. All of Bootstrap has um, your um, resets are already included in the base code, so there's no need to add a reset on the top here. But in order to get the components, both the uh, nav bar and carousel and any of those types of components that are included in Bootstrap, we need to add um, a couple library settings inside of JavaScript. So we click on JavaScript, again go down to Quick Add, drop the list box down and you'll see um, Bootstrap and jQuery up here. Um, all of Bootstrap's components require jQuery, so that's the first thing that we need to add. And again, th these are all CDNs that are being called. The second thing that we need to add here is a call to bootstrap.js um, itself. So we select uh, Bootstrap here, and you'll notice that it's a, it's still a CDN. And um, most people get confused. There are two parts to Bootstrap both a CSS part which is a CSS library and then also the JavaScript part of um, Bootstrap which is another call to this JS. If we look at Bootstrap's website and we go down to the getting started section you'll notice that, that their recommendation is also to include this library called Tether. Um, what Tether does is allows us to um, bind components to uh, items on our HTML so they stick to next to one another. If that's something that you think that you might use, we'll go ahead and uh, select that and copy it. Don't select the whole thing because this is an actual script call. All we want is the HTTPS call here. Go back to our pen and click on add another resource and paste that in right here and you actually want this above your um, your bootstrap call so that's it as far as including the libraries needed for uh, bootstrap 4 
um, just go ahead and go up to pen title and give it a title of bootstrap v4 template and then down here you'll notice uh, a little checkbox that says template go ahead and select that what that does is will allow us to use this as a template to create new pens from so once we uh, click save and close we're brought back to our main uh, screen and then just click save now if we go back to bootstrap I mean back to code pens main page you'll see up on the top instead of clicking new pen there's a drop down box here you'll see the bootstrap 4 template if we select that and go into settings we'll see that the libraries have been included for us and we can give it a new pen and start our new pen from scratch here um, any pens that you create off of this template you don't click template again um, that's only the first time that you set this up so that we can get a copy of this each time so click save and close and then um, you can start uh, coding from this point on okay so now we're going to create the version 3 pen uh, template for um, bootstrap 3 so go ahead and click on new pen and the first thing we need to do is find the CDNs that we're going to use so go to Google and type in bootstrap CDN and you'll notice down here there's a quick start bootstrap by max CDN we're going to click on that and they give us the two um, CDNs that we're going to need in order to copy into our uh, our pen so go ahead and select the CSS one right click and copy go back to our pen and go to settings like we did in version uh, 4 we go to the CSS tab and in version 3 we can't just come down and select bootstrap because that will give us a um, version 4 call and we don't want that so we just click into this blank box right click and paste and that will pull our CDN into um, code pen for the CSS section then we go to JavaScript and just like in version 4 we go to quick add and select jQuery all the components that bootstrap uses on um, for the nav bar and and special functions like that um, requires jQuery in order to uh, run so the next thing we need is to go back here to the CDN again and select the JavaScript version of the library and paste that directly under jQuery and this is the same if you're uh, developing locally you want to call your jQuery before your bootstrap so that bootstrap um, can grab whatever resources that it needs in jQuery a lot of people uh, forget that in order to use the components um, for nav bars and carousels and things like that you must include the bootstrap uh, JS part of the library so three parts we have bootstrap uh, CSS jQuery and bootstrap .js. go up here to our pen title and give it a name go down to the bottom again we're going to make a template out of this so go ahead and select template and save and close now the te templates all set up click save and now when we go back into the main page here um, instead of clicking new pen we drop this list box down and now we have two uh, templates to choose from if we want to use version 4 of bootstrap we could click this one if we want version 3 then we would click this one so we click on version 3 
and if we look back in our settings we will see that the uh, library has been included as well as the JavaScript over here so I hope this helps somebody and um, if you like it give me a thumbs up and I will talk to you soon